Hi everyone! I'm really happy to see you again. I know it's been really long since I uploaded something on YouTube, but I'm coming with my first series and it's drawing K-pop concept photos. I'm really excited about it and I'm not drawing right now the group photos as you asked in Hypen because it's really it takes me really long to do a group photo so I'm doing little questionnaires on Instagram for a little series before I upload the group photo of in Hypen please understand me as you asked me uh, the first group is Stray Kids at the District 9 era, I really love this track, it is also one of my favorite groups and as you can see, that's what you asked me. There were also people that voted for 80s in their Turbulence era, but circuits won. And you asked me for draw it with watercolors. I will give you like a little plan first. I will draw nine concept photos. Yeah, I will draw Eugene because he was also part of Stray Kids at that era. Please don't criticize. I think Stay doesn't want to forget him at all. So please, no criticism. I'm not drawing every week because I have school, exams and so on. And today will be only one member. Here you can see the nine photos. As you can see there, there's the album name and logo and in some other photos there's not, but I'm gonna draw it. Nevertheless, it seems really cool. The member names. If you want to know a, a little bit more about Stray Kids in general, you can read the description. <laughs> and I'm gonna draw first Lino. Woo. Here you can see him a bit, a little bit bigger and I'm gonna make an analysis about what I'm drawing. There you can see a lot of lines and I'm gonna explain what those lines mean. That's the alienation of the eyes and ears, it's very important, that's the body form, it's a triangle or that's at least what I found out. The neck is another line and there the neck has a different perspective of the body you know that's why i did two lines that's the alienation of the nose and mouth it's also really important and that's a perspective guideline that's the alienation of the shoulders and yeah that's the hip so little things that you might do or if you don't want to know like the legs position that's something that I do that not everyone does the light things comes from come from the left and that's why at the right are shot there are shadows that's to see at the face hair and at the hands and clothes that's a line for showing the body's position again and I will show you what I have done so far on the on the paper here you can see that I already did some lines or at least all the guidelines I use face, hands, arm and body now it's time to do the whole sketch with pencil the whole sketch and then I will color it with watercolors that's watercolor paper in the watercolor block so I'm so excited here is Lino Woo. okay the first thing that I will do before painting is erasing the guidelines because it is very dark I will leave only a little bit of them but not everything it is very dark now finally i will begin with the real sketch of everything oh, i'm really thankful to uh, to you for waiting you know
then as you can see we are done with the sketch of Lino and I haven't done this part of the background because it was really hard for me and to color with watercolors but yeah we must get going here have the materials yeah look at this so many times really long ago that I don't use watercolors the school kills me every time well first I will apply the base colors and then I will begin to color but I will be like signalizing this in everything in the video so don't worry I won't be speaking mostly I won't be speaking if there is something really special I will speak but if not I will only keep going coloring and write everything so have fun Well, I finished face. It's a bit hard because the paper is now like a bit up. It doesn't maintain the plain form, but I think I hope you can see it better now. Now we'll do the clothes. Surprisingly, this was the longest part of everything, doing those little squares on the clothes. I don't know if you can see which colors I'm using or I'm mixing to reach those colors of the clothes and of the skin and hair because I don't have them in the watercolors so I have to make them and if you want to have a little guide of how did I do the colors for Lino so you can tell me and I post it in Instagram well I am done with the clothes it was really long so I am going to do this part of the background and the I am not logo but I won't record it because it is a bit too long I think I think you're a bit bored so I will only do it and then I show you here are the results oh my god I am really excited I really hope you liked it can you guess who's next